Hey, AJT fam, it is time to do another uh, morning recap. Uh, today we only took one, we only traded one stock. This is what I like doing. If I ever have a perfect day, it would be a day just like this, where I never have to go and try trading any other stock. I can stay locked in and kind of work the timing on one stock. Thankfully, today, we got some pretty good follow-through. And I honestly didn't expect this. I expected at the open for the dip to get bought in the market and, you know, really to give me not so much opportunity today. I didn't see a whole lot of value to the long side in any of my stocks. Um, but... NVIDIA just happened to be the one that set up for me first. And that's usually how I end up choosing the stock that I trade. I look for the ones that have the best window of opportunity. And then which one sets up first, that's, that's usually the one that I'm going to go with. So let me remove this. So as soon as we took the opening range low, as soon as we took out the opening range low, this is the first five minute candle, this is five minute opening range low. We get short. First target was this 157.75. Um, this isn't a daily level. Or is it? Yeah, it's a daily level. And I got, took profit here. Um, took some more profit here at the um, linear regression channel now this the linear regression channel does move throughout the day it does readjust with the volatility and all of that but at this point we were right here and you can see this is where we reversed it's where we bounced um, then we pulled back and I hit my final target well not my final target but this would have been my final target if we didn't really have this hard selling. I mean, we were following through pretty good. So I figured we could get down here and test this 153. And that's pretty much what we did. Um, I did take some profit here. It bounced. I took the rest of it. I took some at 154. It bounced. I took the rest here at 153.25-ish. And we established under this 153.28 daily level. Once we confirmed taking it out, I got back in because I thought, you know, we were just going to get this last leg down. And I took profit halfway there. And I had to leave and take a running errand. So I just put a the final target I put a range order in right here at the level this 150 85 level and you know it hit that I did not expect this to sell off anymore because we have the 50 day moving average right here we had the 100 day moving average right here there was no way I saw this selling through but it did it kind of came down was trying to to test this 148.91 level. Um, if we lose this before you know it gets too late, we've got another window um, all the way down to around 145-ish. 145 and some change. So there could be another trade in this. Um, just depends on you know whether this confirms the move. So we just have to be patient. Um, it doesn't matter what happened yesterday or the day before. You know, I I was on a six trade losing streak earlier in the in the week. Um, lost it yesterday on a lucky trade. So, you know, had a couple of trades during the day, and then had a, a halfway decent trade on earnings. Didn't get the move I wanted to get but did get a, a move to make some money. So I didn't let 
anything panic. I just started doing the same thing I always do. I come in with the same mindset and and just go to work. And that's that's what we've got to do. And that's how we, we make it happen. So, you know, textbook trade here. Nice home run. Um, no more trades on this for me unless we get under 148.91. And no earnings did I see of today after the close. So I think this might be it for me. You know, unless something really sets up or something happens and the market gets really spooked, I think I'm done. But if you ever want to know what a textbook five-minute opening range breakdown looks like, this is it. And we had a couple of these um, yesterday. I just happened to be in the wrong stock. It's just kind of the luck of the draw. But as long as the stocks on my watch list are producing, I'm happy with that. I know I'm in the right place. It was just the luck of the draw. So that's going to wrap it up for me today. Um, one more day before we start Christmas vacation. So looking forward to getting tomorrow knocked out and hitting the road, going to see our family and enjoying some tamales, some menudo, hopefully some champurrado. So can't wait. So you guys, if I don't talk to you anymore, have a great holiday. If you celebrate Christmas, have a Merry Christmas. Whatever holiday we celebrate, this is the time of year for it and for family. So I'm, I'm cutting trading out of my head when I close my, my platform tomorrow. So you guys... Have a good one, be safe, and I will see you soon.